know, celebrating a little bit, and then the next day, these guys get their rings. And, and I told them, I just told them uh, just now that enjoy it, take it in, soak it in, because uh, they've earned that. And you work hard to, you know, to have something like this happen, and, uh, but in the back of your mind, you just got to keep telling yourself, well, we got to you know, be ready, you know, we got to get ready for the game, but you got to take it in. It is, it, a lot of hard work went into last year, so hopefully they do. It's going to be a special time. Not only for us, I think, for the fans, front office, everybody. So, just going to be an exciting series uh, with that and being part of it. How difficult were some of the roster decisions that you had to make here? Uh, the worst part of the, the job uh, is that last week of spring training when you start to trim down the roster to guys who are on the cuffs of uh, uh, making the club. And, Having to you know, send them down, so it's never easy, especially when guys do all they can to be on the club and have good springs. Uh, it was very competitive. I loved the way they uh, they all went about it. They competed. And so you know, to add to that, though, it's nice to know that we do have depth in, in uh, AAA that we can rely on guys that can help us win ball games. It's never fun to send them down, and they're not there to be insurance or anything, but you got to get it down to 26. That's what you, know, you have to do. On the other hand, I'm guessing delivering the good news is one of the more pleasant parts of, of the job, the guys who It are. is, it is. But telling Langford, you know, that he made the call. I, I mentioned that when, when we did it. So, yeah, that's, that's the best part of it. You know, so. It's good and bad, uh, more bad. News that you have to get. Because we had quite a few cuts even at the end. We still had a lot of guys here. So you see what went over the, the roster with us. If you prefer to you on the rotation, are you out there to give us rotation? Gosh, I, I know it seems a little strange we don't have it set right now, but we don't. Uh, and there's a reason why. You know, Tom Ray, you know, he's, his neck came up real stiff. He's going to play catch today. And, and throw a bullpen tomorrow. We have the day off after the first game, so I, I still have to hold off on that. We're, we're in a bit of a holding pattern. You had a lot of competition at the, those last few bullpen spots. What about Lads and Yeri and Urania kind of made those decisions for you guys? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned those guys. What a great spring they all had. They they earned this spot on the club. Yeri just dominated uh, the times. And, uh, Lads you know, gives us another left-hander. I love the way uh, he's, you know, he threw the ball this spring. Had that uh, start here a couple of days ago. And didn't phase him a bit. Went out there and uh, dominated there. And, and uh, your ring, uh, he's, he's going to be a valuable member of his staff, uh, especially starting out here because he's going to give his depth in the bullpen or possibly start. So he's got experience doing both. You know, good spring for him. You know, it's good to have that kind of experience to you know, deepen our staff. So, uh, very happy for all three of them. On the bullpen, I mean, you have the guys who made the club, and you're able to retain a lot of the veterans who are in camp with you in AAA. How good do you feel about just the flexibility, I guess, of having not just the guys here, but a lot of guys with experience in AAA, too, if you need them? Yeah, and I touched on that a little bit. It's, it's great to have those guys uh, uh, that did go down uh, that are still with us because you know, we play 162 games. You're going to need those guys. Hopefully, you know, we stay healthy. Uh, but, you know, facts, you know, the fact of the matter is you're probably going to need help. It could be through an option. You know, you know we need help in the pen. And guys have been thrown a lot, so you can make those moves. And, we have some good choices down there on both the, uh, the bullpen side and the starting side too. Uh, just to mention Jack Lyer, I love the way he's been throwing the ball. He's right there, so uh, I think he's going to help us at some point this year. How do you keep the range stretched out? Well, I, I think how he's going to be used uh, will do that. Uh, if we get in an area where he hasn't gotten stretched out, and you know, we'll, we'll do that with working the bullpen. Uh, that's going to be our job. 
but his role will be a guy to give us multiple innings or start uh, when needed. So I, I don't think that's going to be an issue. More confident with what you bring to the regular season this year than you were last year at this time, if you can remember back that far? I was pretty confident last year. When I got to, got to spring training, I looked out there in that first game and saw our position players and you know, our dispatching staff. I, I felt really good about the club, but I'm right there this year, too. But things kind of came together at the right time, getting young and senior out there. You know, pitching right now, we're, we're a little nicked up, but nothing major. We're all going to be good to go, just no matter how we set the rotation. I think the bullpen were sitting better than where we were last year. So, yeah, I think uh, we're in a good place. Now that Walsh has made the team, how do you expect, expect to divvy up first base until Nate comes back? Yeah, um, he'll uh, he'll get a lot of playing time. He'll be playing against the righties and certain left-handers. So I'll give uh, seats. Starts there against lefties, uh, but on some lefties, uh, Walsh, uh, he's, he's going he's to get some playing time. So it's going to work out. Good DH. Uh, uh, so uh, I haven't, I have the lineup in my head right now. I'm just going to have it down on paper. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. I do that on paper. <laughs>